Good afternoon. This is Monday, July the 24th. And this is Dorothy Simon over at the Cable Channel 3. And I'm sitting in for Jim Lakey. And uh, you can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Or, better yet, you can come and visit us over in the corner of the square at 110 East 3rd and come over for coffee. The ladies will be happy to serve you a cup of coffee. Around the greater Midwest, there is still a threat of severe thunderstorm and a potential for rainfall possible hail, large hail, and damaging winds, and uh, still a great possibility for a few tornadoes. But right now in the square, there's a lots of dark clouds, dark clouds. There has been some rain, and it's wind, southwesterly winds, and it's right at 80 degrees, and we're expecting a high this afternoon of 97 and in the evening in the night hours it should cool off to a low of 72 and um, the winds are still with us um, going right at 30 miles per hour and there's also a 30 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms and the humidity is quite high it's right at 53 53 percent tuesday it promises to be partly cloudy. The winds shift somewhat. They will be south, southwesterly at 31 miles per hour with a high though of 103 and a low of 71. And Wednesday it's mostly sunny. The wind dies down uh, to 11 miles per hour. The temperature stays up at 103 degrees and a low of 71. Things that should be happening in our community. On July the 1st, Monday at 6 p.m. over at the Sunflower Senior Center, the, we'll be serving hamburger and trimmings provided by the USD 350 Recreation Commission. And they want you to please bring a picnic side dish or a dessert to add to the feast. Come on over and enjoy July the 1st hamburger and trimmings feast. And then get ready also for Thursday, July the 4th at Larned. Uh, for, there will be some fireworks. And there is a bus leaving St. John right at 7.30 p.m. And they hope to snack at Wendy's in Larned. And the fireworks at the Memorial um, Stadium. Please bring your own lawn chair and they will re return to um, St. John after the fireworks. And we do need you to um, call in your reservations before July the 2nd, and the cost will be only $5. And then further in the month, towards the end of the month, on July the 30th, uh, at 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., they will ha be having a trip to Dodge City Casino at a cost of $10. Uh, the trip is subject to weather or conditions. If it's higher than 90 degrees, then it's probably too hot. So mark your calendars for those days, July the 1st, July the 4th, and July the 30th. I want to continue to encourage the young people um, with the reading program for the Friends of the Library. I know it's a, just a worthwhile exercise to have the young people reading over the summer. That's a skill and information that will last with them a lifetime. So do encourage them to read. And this summer the reading, the reading program is Dig Into Reading. And they're digging up dinos, if you pardon the pun, on June the 26th. So have the young people come out and enjoy that. And over the weekend, I noticed a lot of harvesting going on. The combines are out, and we're really getting into the harvesting season. We hope the weather s stays um, cool enough, or the rain stays away, just uh, to allow the farmers to get the wheat in. And um, 
in Stafford County, they have 30% completed the harvesting of the wheat. And we have our menus over at um, Maxville Center. Today, they're serving some cream, Salisbury, sorry, they're serving beef stroganoff with noodles, spinach, uh, white bread, an angel cake. And tomorrow, they'll be serving roast beef with gravy, parsley potatoes, a steamed cabbage, and applesauce and muffin. And on Thursday, they're serving Huntington chicken uh, with a winter mix of vegetables and lemon bars. Lots of eating over the holidays. But if you don't want to cook, go to the senior center. The meals are delicious. Over at the um, Sunflower Center, today it's mashed potato with gravy, green beans with casserole, uh, island fruit salad and sherbet. Tomorrow they'll be serving red potatoes, zucchini and tomatoes, and sunshine salad and a dream cake. And on Wednesday they'll be serving a pork cutlet in mushroom sauce, noodles, Italian vegetables, tossed salad, and an orange delight. Very appetizing. We have some birthdays too. We want to wish Joe Carroll, Joe Carroll Hudson, on the 26th is Joe's birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. Also, Adela Tucker. And we want to wish happy anniversary to Jack and Roberta Davis. Jack and Roberta Davis. And our thought for the day is marriages are not made in heaven. They come in kids, and we have to put them together. Marriages are not made in heaven. They come in kids, and we have to put them together. So remind Jack and Roberto of that, and everybody who is um, celebrating their anniversary today. Good afternoon, and enjoy the rest of the evening.